<laughs> He's got here. Bugs out here. Oh, Hello there. <laughs> How are you? Well, I'm mothering again at nighttime. We're at the park. Uh, we're at the park at this time because, you know, being a mother, I have to do everything. I have to do everything. Um, so I made their gym time at night because I take my oldest daughter, who's 19, I take her to college at night. I don't want her traveling on a bus at night. I don't want her traveling by herself. Plus, I don't want her to spend any money on anything, you know. So, tonight I'm taking her. I took her and I'm, I got to pick her up uh, after her class is over. So, I'm here at the park. And today was a day filled with reminders, constant reminders of not giving up your dream, but also not forgetting who God is and what God said, the promises that he made. If God said it, he will perform it. And having that God-like faith, as my brother Mike Smith would say, the pistos kind of faith, the God-like faith, the faith, the unstoppable faith that no matter what you just believe, no matter what it looks like, God said it, he's going to do it. And for my business, that was key because the Lord told me specifically not to, not to let anybody else hire me to make sure that anything I did was within the perimeters of my book, the poetry. I can be more flexible in serving God. I can be more flexible in, you know, determining what is the will of God for me. And I have a choice. I'm not under <coughs> the hand of the oppressor to tell me, oh, you can't talk about Jesus here. You're on company time. My company time is God's time. And God's time is my time. So, God reminded me that he was the big chief and that I did not need to worry about pursuing and continuing to pursue my book and the sales and the you know hiring out of anything of myself as to inspiration for the book regarding the book and in regards to ministry for Jesus and I really thank God for that because it freed me up because I was kind of like bound I was I had all this pressure on me thinking, okay, I was going to take this other job. And even though, you know, I'm making the money here doing my business, it's just, just the whole idea. I started thinking, oh my God, it would be a check that I didn't have to figure out how I was going to make sales. And, but God's got it all figured out. It's hard work. I was ready to run from the hard work of it. Just letting somebody oh no. else determine this for me. Going up to but God is good. He's and going to um, get her baby I'm staying focused. Staying focused. I hope somebody have to fast and pray to do it. But I'm staying focused. If you remember anything from this message, just remember stay focused. And in order to stay focused, you gotta stay in God's word. You gotta fast, pray, and constantly keep people before you that are doing what you're trying to and inspiring to do. So if you already wrote a book, you don't need me. You already wrote a book. I need you. But if you haven't started to pursue your dream and you need to, um, actually, I made a mistake. If you've already published your book, you don't need me. I've already written several books. I've written several books. It's not to the public. Uh, just one of them has been copywritten by the Library of Congress, so that's the only one I disclose. Um... However, now I can walk up. what I mean is look for people who've done what you want to do and they've done it successfully. Biblically, um, yes, it's good to have some people who are in the world who can just tell you some things that you don't know. Oh, yeah. All the time I listen to, I listen to people like Yanla different times. I listen to Oprah. I listen to different things like that. I do. I mean, certain things they say are pretty good. But then, I need to hear from the men and women of God who are actually walking this thing out, who have walked the word of God out, 
who are living consecrated lives. These are people I surround myself with, meaning mentally. Because basically, I'm surrounded by the little people. <laughs> These are my little people. This is what I surround myself by. And they do praise the Lord. Everybody give God a praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, clap your hands to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's my prayer group. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't have a bunch of cackling women up in my face. I can't stand it. Let me tell you something. I don't do women. And I mean, what I mean is, I have some girlfriends, and we just, we don't have to see each other every month or every... I mean, when we run into each other or when we do talk, it's about the Lord and the goodness of the Lord and, and aspiring to do more and better, greater things. They don't have time for me every day and I don't have time for them every day. If we had problems, sure, we make time for each other. There, there are segments of our lives where we talk daily because maybe they're going through something or I'm going through something. But on a regular basis, mm -mm, they have their families and I have my families to deal with. Um, so I am, I have a lot on my plate. I have a lot on my plate. When you have a lot on your plate, you need to eat what's on your plate before trying to go onto someone else's plate. And that's what I'm trying to do. Actually, why does I have to use plate? <laughs> I need to be losing what I need to be, which, which I am backing away from the plate. Why is all my analogy, you know? You know these people who are overweight, all their analogies have to be something with a plate of food. God help me. <laughs> God help me with the discipline. Yes, Lord. But I'm sitting here and I'm enjoying this air. You know, yeah, I would like to be asleep. But it's a good thing, you know, being out here, the night air, forcing me to do something different. It's cool. I got to go to work in the morning. Um, But I'll be in the bed, good and ripe and early. Ah, uh, so this this is good. Um, but like I was saying, you know, um, it's just not good to have so much company all the time. You can't hear God. You can't hear yourself. Um, so make time for God. Make time for yourself. And um, remember, if you like this video, subscribe, like, and share. God bless you. Make my videos go viral so that I can inspire other people worldwide and give people the gospel of Jesus. That's what I use my poetry for. My poetry is a catalyst to everything that God has done for me. So, if you believe in what I believe in, which is Jesus Christ and Him crucified, risen savior and uh the god the father sending him to die for us and he was resurrected by the father holy ghost living inside you jesus right now on the right hand side of the throne of grace if you believe what i believe stand for what i stand for and if you love my poetry i said if you love my poetry <laughs> It's funny, I'm a clown. I'm, I'm not a preacher. I'm a teacher. So, listen. This is Poetic Prophetess Kimberly. God bless you in Jesus' name. See you next time. Thanks for listening.